Welcome to this video in which I am going to present a paper entitled ICT Tools Highlighted and Their Usefulness During the Pandemic Erasmus Plus Projects Related to Learning. It's based on a research work that is being carried out within the University of Salamanca PhD program on education in the knowledge society with the mentoring and supervision of Francisco Jose Garcia Peñalba. Let's start with a few information related to the investigation. Through this research work, we are looking for the most outstanding educational practices that have worked adequately in group European, of European projects that are catalogued as good practice or for success story and linked with e-learning and information and communications technologies, ICT. The results obtained so far in those aspects related to the possible factors considered the reason of, for being successful and the sustainability of the project research over time and how they have been useful in the pandemic are the main subjects for this presentation. Regarding the methodology for this research, it follows the guidelines specified in systematic reviews of research projects and now we are undertaking the analysis phase through the survey design to collect information that is more detailed on key aspects of the projects. Let's see the sections for that survey. The survey is divided in six sections and this presentation is focused on the results obtained with the second and the fifth section of the survey. The second section of the survey is aimed at global, at, at global aspects that allow determining the factors that favor the success of the projects. And it has two questions. And the fifth section of the survey is comprised of, three qu of uh, seven questions in relation of other aspects as, for example, uh, how ICT could uh, improve learning, the dissemination activities, future plans, uh, the cost-benefit balance, obstacles, and uh, the extent um, in which the results and products helped to better cope with education during the COVID-19 pandemic. As regards to the results obtained, the following slide presents the main conclusions. In conclusion, the distribution of students by educational fields is more prominent in ed school education. The main success factors are that uh, related to real and concrete needs of students and teachers of the project educational sector, coordination and collaboration of all project partners before, during and after the projects, and the sustainability of the project over time as it continues to be used and updated. The main ICT and e-learning results are the increase in digital learning resources available for the teaching and learning process, as for example digital educational tool packages, interactive educational video games, robotics, digital methodological guides, curricular designs, or the implementation of ICT, etc. Digital textbooks, workbooks, or worksheets. Usefulness within the pandemic? Well, this is quite interesting because more of uh, the 50% of the projects consider that they have been very useful uh, during the pandemic and they consider that they were better prepared. The 26% affirm they have improved some or the resources as the result of the situation experienced during the crisis. And only 6% have realized that they had become obsolete or out of date and did not serve for the new situation. So the results are quite promising. 
the next stage for, of the research will be an interview phase with some of the survey projects because it is interested to, to collect information that allows us to better understand the causes that give rise to the, the small variations between educational fields as well as to deepen the knowledge of the real impact after the funding period. Thank you very much for your interest and I'll be happy to reply any questions that you may have regarding the paper. Here you can find my contact details.